F1 drivers pranking each other Some drivers in F1 prefer to unwind in the comfort of their motorhomes after a race, either alone or with their families. Others, on the other hand, can't wait to have some fun and frequently do so by pulling pranks on their teammates or other team members. We've chosen some of the most successful pranks both on and off the track, so buckle up and get ready for some good laughs. Red Bull Pranks for Stappen Max Verstappen found himself in an awkward situation while taking public transportation. The Red Bull superstar was apparently driven to his destination by a bogus taxi driver who tried to annoy him with his questions. The prank was organised by Channel 4 and the taxi driver they implanted was clearly talkative, with the ability to hold a remarkable conversation but was incorrect in his facts. Initially, he appeared to confuse him with Michael Schumacher's son and referred to him as a German, prompting Verstappen to quickly clarify that he is not German and was born in Belgium and his father is Dutch. The driver attempts to appear perplexed and then asks if Schumacher is not his father and Verstappen clearly states that he is not the seven-time world champion's son. Meanwhile, Verstappen was seen chatting with someone and the footage claimed that he was apparently talking to someone from Red Bull, during which the Dutch superstar complained about the driver's habit of talking excessively. The person on the other end of the line even suggested that the driver was confusing Verstappen with Mick Schumacher, the actual son of Michael Schumacher, who is currently in his rookie year with Haas. When Verstappen arrived at his destination, the imposter revealed his true identity and the 23-year-old driver admitted, I was really holding my nerves. If only Verstappen is a good actor, he knew what was going on, so Channel 4's performance seemed convincing in any case and served its purpose. Berger plays a prank on Senna Ayrton Senna's longest serving teammate was Gerhard Berger, with whom he raced for three seasons, from 1990 to 1992, in McLaren equipped with Brembo brakes for a total of 48 GPs. Even a casual observer could see they had a special bond and had numerous stories to tell. On a helicopter flight near the Monza circuit, the Australian threw Senna's carbon fibre briefcase out of the helicopter after Senna boasted about its indestructibility. A trip to Australia was also memorable, as he stuffed a dozen frogs into the hotel room. Ricardo pranks the clerk Daniel Ricardo had a successful weekend on the track at the Australian Grand Prix, but he also had some fun off the track. A new McLaren video provides a behind-the-scenes look at the driver's home race, with footage showing him and the rest of the team preparing for what proved to be their most successful race of the season so far. But before the race began, Ricardo took the opportunity to play a joke on Charles the Clerk. When Ricardo and a friend arrived at the Albert Park Avenue on Wednesday morning, they attempted to scare the Ferrari driver. Daniel Ricardo is seen in a McLaren video pulling a hilarious prank on Charles the Clerk. The Australian driver is seen sitting in a car with a friend, and just as the unsuspecting Monagas driver approached the car, Ricardo surprised him by blowing the car horn, leaving the clerk visibly shaken. Both drivers have had very different starts to the new Formula 1 season. Charles de Klerk leads the driver standings, while Daniel Ricciardo is in 11th place with only 8 points from 3 races. The Australian Grand Prix was a successful race for both the McLaren team and Daniel Ricciardo. After finishing 6 behind teammate Lando Norris, the McLaren driver earned his first season points. Michael Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel prank Michael Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel once collaborated to play a joke on their compatriot Nico Rosberg, causing a commotion at a Formula 1 press conference. This prank occurred during Schumacher's final season as a racer in 2012. Rosberg was specifically targeted by the other two during a press conference ahead of the season's German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim Ring in July. It started with a seemingly innocuous question from a reporter about the hours drivers worked on a Friday. Rosberg was the first to respond, but it wasn't long before Vettel and Schumacher next to him were muttering to each other with sly grins on their faces. They were amused because, apparently unbeknownst to Rosberg, his microphone volume had been too high. Sitting next to the ear of the Mercedes driver, Vettel was encouraged by Schumacher to move the microphone closer to his mouth. Rosberg appeared to believe he was being helped by the Red Bull driver and continued his response with the microphone almost against his lips, implying that his response was being projected very loudly around the room and distorted by the volume. Rosberg only realised he had been the victim of a prank when Vettel and Schumacher began smirking to themselves, eliciting a similar reaction from the other three drivers behind them and the journalists gathered in the room. Res pranking his engineers 
Sergio Perez raced in Formula 1 for the first time in 2011 in a Sauber powered by a Ferrari engine. He only scored points three times in the first 14 races. In Japan, starting 17th after the qualifying round could have been a better way to begin his Monday. Nonetheless, the Mexican moved into 8th place on the 42nd lap thanks to two pit stops and a careful tyre management. On the final lap, however, he began to yell over the radio, I've lost power, I've lost power, much to everyone's chagrin. Aha, I was just joking, he exclaimed as he crossed the finish line in 8th place. Lauda pranks the journalists. Despite the difficulties he faced due to the accident on the old Nürburgring, the late Nicky Lauda was a man of spirit and the first driver to win a world championship using Brembo brakes. When the film Rush was released, he returned to the scene of the accident on the Bergwood corner with an American camera crew. When the journalist asked how he felt, he started talking, peered into the grass and picked up something. Look what I found, that's my ear. Both the cameraman and the woman were taken aback. He was holding a pastry that he had hidden a few minutes before. PK plays a prank on Mansell. Nelson PK Sotmayer is a businessman and retired racing driver from Brazil. PK, a three time world champion, has been ranked among the greatest Formula 1 drivers in various motorsport polls since his retirement. Nelson PK and Nigel Mansell were teammates at William Honda in 1986 and 1987 when it was the best single seater car in the field. The Mexican Grand Prix was their third and final race. During the test sessions, the Brazilian observed that the Brit constantly stopped and had an upset stomach. He eventually hid all the toilet paper in the bathrooms, but his colleague didn't notice until he sat down. According to all accounts, he roared like a lion, hence his nickname. Alessi and Berger play a prank on Toad. Berger was Jean Alessi's teammate at Ferrari from 1993 to 1995 after Senna. The Frenchman recalled how they were at Maranello one day when the Austrian asked for a lift to Friano. However, Alessi did not have a car, so they borrowed a Y10 from Jean Toad, the general manager of Scuderia Ferrari at the time. Jean Alessi drove at full throttle, but Berger responded by applying the handbrake. Everything was fine until they drove onto the track and overturned. The mechanics quickly returned the car to its four wheels and covered it up. In the end, the two Ferrari drivers got away with a reprimand from Toad that had nothing to do with the worth of his Lancia. When they misused the handbrake, they risked injuring themselves. Even if the brake system is from Brembo, safety should not be taken lightly. Ricardo pranks Lewis. Daniel Ricardo has once again established himself as the undisputed king of the Formula 1 podium. It's the platform where he's introduced the showy to a global audience and following Sunday's Japanese Grand Prix, the always entertaining and fun-loving Austrian took things to a whole new level by pulling a hilarious prank on F1 Championship leader Lewis Hamilton. The 28-year-old took advantage of Hamilton's unguarded and seemingly unlocked phone after taking it to the podium to document the celebratory scenes for his 5 million Instagram followers, but Ricardo had other plans, taking a series of goofy selfies to post on Hamilton's Instagram story while the British driver was fulfilling some media duties. Hamilton's phone was eventually recovered and the pair took a more traditional selfie for the fans. This is how the F1 superstars enjoy their off-field time. The fans love them pulling each other's legs and it's something to get their mind off the racial tension. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and share the video with your friends and family.